Fire crews are usually the first on a scene. They see things that many of us never do, and that can be traumatic. But now there's a program helping those first responders with mental wellness. That program was created by Aurora Battalion Chief Wendy Lipman. And today, Lipman received a national award for her extraordinary commitment to the emotional health of firefighters. Our Dylan Thomas spoke with Lipman, and he's live in Aurora tonight. Dylan? Hey, Kathy, firefighters are often recognized for the work they do out in the community, but not necessarily for the work that they do behind the doors with each other. But with suicide now growing to be the number one killer of firefighters here in the United States, mental health is now a priority here in Aurora. Firefighting. People think, well, it's great, it's heroic, and, and people love you, and so how could it possibly have any negative impact on you? It's a tough job. Couple the fact that we work 24 hour shifts. Last year, Aurora Fire responded to 55,000 calls. But most of them weren't good things. More than 70% of which weren't fires, rather, wrecks, serious injuries, medical emergencies, and often death. A list of depressing interactions firefighters deal with every day. We have a picture in our brain of what it looked like, smelled like, felt like, and we put it in our slide carousel, and then we turn it and kind of stash it away. Um, and sometimes that slide carousel gets full of those images. That's when we have real issues. Aurora Fire Battalion Chief Wendy Lippman says her department is now focusing on mental health, something big and tough firefighters often avoid. It's an ego thing, too. Is this an example of it being okay to not be okay? It is okay to not be okay, um, and, and we want people to to feel it. Because she and her department are prioritizing mental health. I am really pleased to present the Firefighter Hero Award to Battalion Chief Wendy Lippman. Lippman was honored with a national award won for prioritizing mental health, something she hopes other departments will do as well. This is a need and this is something we need to work really hard at. When it comes to firefighters, asking them if they're okay isn't enough. So the department is actually sitting them down and having them talk amongst each other. They're also doing things like after a really big call, they're actually having them all sit down and taking them off shift so they can all talk about it and prioritize their mental health. Live in Aurora, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. A great and important program. Thank you, Dylan.